TikTok shop, is it worth it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. My name's Teresa and I do all things food, fashion, and fitness, but today we are diving into something that is all over the place, yes. TikTok shop, I'm actually using one of the items that I got on TikTok shop, so we're gonna do that one last, but that was the whole purpose of me buying these items. So I was just thinking, let's just test the overall quality from what you see and get some expectations. First off, I bought this Intense Pulse Light Wrinkle Reducing Instrument. Bought it because I was like, why not? I know red light therapy works. I have a large red light therapy device that I use myself, but this one is for your face. And I have makeup on right now, but when you put it on your face, it vibrates and like pulses. And it has three different settings. So it has the red, it has the blue, and then it has the green. Apparently the green one is for cleaning your face. The red one is for EMS, red light therapy, and making your skin get tighter and reduce wrinkles. And then the blue light is for hot. I don't actually know what that means, but how you turn it on, and it comes with a charger, so you just plug it in. I actually really like it. I don't know, I don't think it's, it's not gonna hurt you. That's how I feel it. It's one of those things where it's just something to add to your beauty routine. When you're using red light therapy and you're putting creams on, it helps them absorb into your skin. They just make them more effective, so it's definitely gonna help you. I'm not as familiar with the green light and the blue light. I think blue light is for also killing bacteria, and I'm assuming the green light is too. I don't have visible before and afters. I did do it on my forehead, and I did notice a little bit of a difference the immediate time that I did it, but I was also like, maybe it's because it's relaxing your muscles. I don't know, but it feels nice, okay? So it's inexpensive, and if you were looking for something to just up your skincare game, I would say, you know, eight out of 10. I don't have anything negative about that. Maybe even a nine out of 10. As far as how well it works, we are still up for debate. The next thing I bought was some new phone cases. I just thought it'd be fun to have a new phone case or two. Not the best quality. Um, I don't know what you would expect. These ones were like $2, so I guess I got exactly what I would expect for $2. I'm obviously not too excited about them, but I like the fact that they came with these little hooks because when I travel, I absolutely, like this is my normal phone case that I use. And I like having this wrist strap and it's just a little thing. I got that on Amazon, I can link it below. But I just like the fact that when I'm traveling, I can have it on my wrist, easy to grab my boarding pass and whatnot. So, and it's great if you're also taking pictures out the car window or over a ledge because you feel it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, back to these ones. That's why I wanted to buy some new ones. I was just like, oh, I'm curious. And I thought that that would be cute when you're taking selfies and just fun. So I wasn't expecting the best, but I'll, then again, I usually always will use the same phone case as it is. And I just thought that this would be kind of cute. It is what I expect for $2 or $3. They, they are what I expect. They work. They hold the phone and it fits it just fine. So I guess that is probably the true test. And then this is the other one that I got. I, I like being able to have, like my husband has a, a wallet attached to his phone case and it's awesome. And when I travel, if I just need like my phone and a wallet, this would do the trick. Honestly, this one is kind of funky because it like overhangs the phone case carrier. So I don't like this one as much. I think that this one is not as good. This one I just liked because it was the camera. So five out of 10, five out of 10. This one, three out of 10. But this one, I mean, come on for the price. You, I can't be docking it so much, right? Seven out of 10. <laughs> I'm like trying to like re-decide what I decide, rethink what I decide. The next item that I got, and I was like, this is actually pretty slick. It's just a case. It's just a clear case. I always have so many different chargers and things, and I keep accumulating more. And I'm just like, if I could label this and then put them in here and then put like the power banks over here, I think that'd make my life really easy. This 
I think 10 out of 10 because it does exactly what I expected. The lid closes and it's clear. It's exactly as described. So 10 out of 10. I just need to label it and put my, my chargers in there. The other thing I bought was these cute socks. They all have little smiley faces on them and they are a short sock. They fit great. None of them have holes. There's a lot of them. I have a pair on right now. I have the black ones on. So it came with eight pairs of socks and they're really soft. You know, they're pretty thin. So I don't know how long they'll last, but honestly, 10 out of 10. I really like these. I think that they were a great purchase and I would purchase them again, 100%. 100%. Another item, I haven't actually used this yet. It's for your door. I live in Arizona and my door seals are not the best. And I guess I only needed one white one and then I should have got a black one for my front door. But all you do is DIY. You just measure the length, cut off what you didn't need, clean the door, and then you stick it on the door and it gives it a nice tight seal. I'm gonna try this. It has like a three tier seal and I think this is gonna be fantastic to keep out the heat, the cold, and the bugs. We have scorpions outside and I don't want them inside. <laughs> I want to make sure we seal up as much as possible and our electricity bills even though we have solar are just through the roof anything to try and make our house a little bit more secure i'm excited to try these i think they'll be fantastic but i'll put it on and then share with you once i get it on there and then lastly i bought these mugs it can't or two glasses i thought they'd be so cute for my iced coffees and i was right they also both come with a glass straw. They're super cute. I've already made some aesthetic videos with my putting my smoothies in here and they're just really cute. I like that they're different. I feel like too often when you buy stuff like this, you have to buy the exact same. It's nice to have variety because I don't know, it's just fun to have different cups and it makes it for a more pleasing aesthetic video or post or Honestly, I'm just kind of in this phase in my life where I just want to have fun with everything that I touch. You know, like I want to have fun with my house. I mean, you can see maybe, I don't know if you can see. You can see over here, I have a green wall. I have that inside my house as well. So I love aesthetically pretty things. I'm really trying to work on my house to make it cute and pretty. And like, those are pictures from Iceland. Well, at least I think they are. I downloaded them online because mine, I did not think that the ones that I took were worth putting up there just yet because they were, it was like kind of crappy out. I think that it's really fun to just make your house or the things that you do day to day, like romanticizing your life, right? That's what people always say. Those are the things that we gravitate towards when we're watching videos, like just really aesthetically pleasing things. And I'm not saying that that's how your life is always, but it's fine to like highlight little things that you do that are pretty. Like my house is sometimes clean, sometimes it's a mess. Usually I'm not filming when it's a mess because it's a mess and that's not fun to look at, but that's reality sometimes. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah. And then the last thing that I got from TikTok shop, oh, these, these were 10 out of 10. Everything came really nicely packaged. A lot of the stuff came in one package and then a few things came separately. And then the other two items that I got, I bought this. It's a microphone and a light. This is cute because it's just a little tripod stand. And then you can plug it into your phone. I have a little adapter that I plug in and then plug it into my phone. So that way it works off of this little boom. And then the light too, right? You can change the different colors. This one, I think a 10 out of 10. The only thing that would be nicer is if it could be a little bit taller off of the ground but you know what it's super light it's super compact if you wanted to like put it in your travel bag it comes apart and you can store it flat so i guess you know for what you get and how you're able to move around with it it is super light a good option and then you charge the back again another reason for a charger honestly it works and it does the job for what i wanted it to do lastly this is the main reason why i bought all of the rest of these items off of TikTok shop. I was like, why not just buy a few more and just see, but I love it. It's great. I wanted it for when I'm filming food videos to be able to loosen it up and then 
have it over my food because the way that my kitchen lighting is, it's very much overhead lighting. So anytime I'm standing over my food, I'm creating shadows. And this was so cheap. It was like 23 bucks. I was like, sure, let's give it a try. It's super lightweight. It actually gets quite tall. Check that out. That's how tall that gets. It comes with a little remote control. So you can take videos. And I like that it has the different lights. I actually never charged it. So I was just going off of the charge that it came with. And it just died today. I think it's going to be awesome, easy. I like how light it is. Again, the base is nice and wide. So you shouldn't have any issues with it falling over, tipping over. I feel like that one is also a 10 out of 10. Someone put comments saying that it had suction cups on the bottom of it and it does not have suction cups on the bottom of it. That was a lie, but that's okay <laughs> because it still does the job for what I need it to do. I think that I am going to end it here. Let me know if you want more videos like this. You guys, I love sharing content just because it's fun. And I'm always curious about these things. But as far as like phone covers and things, I would still stick to buying something that costs a little bit more because otherwise it's just kind of a waste of money. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. My next video, I'm actually going to go over my favorite Amazon purchases that I've gotten recently. And you guys, they are, they are epic. Not even just Amazon, but just like overall purchases so far that are my favorite for the year. We'll see if any of my TikTok items make it. All right, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.